Hi, this is Dan from the ECU Pro. A customer sent in his faulty DME from his Mini Cooper 1.6 liter. We took one out of our fleet. Uh, we'll bring it up. You would need to send in your DME, your cast module, and one key. And what we do is we reinstall these parts into our car, try to start it, try to run it. Um, if it tests fine, we charge you a small fee to ship it back. If there's a problem we can repair, we repair it. It, sometimes it's a sinking issue between these two, and sometimes this is water damage or whatever it may be, and we have to replace it for a working unit. To remove the DME, first you're going to take the key out of the ignition, and you come over and pop the hood. The DME looks like this. It's sitting under this box. You're going to take the top off of it. Undo these connectors and with a flathead screwdriver, push up on here and here and pry it and it will come right out. Once we have this, the cast module and key, um, and once we test it and repair it, we will send you a video of it running in the car. Removal of the cast module. The cast module is important for us because without the cast module and key, we can't actually start our car. So to remove it, we know that the cast module in the Mini Cooper is difficult to remove. Um, it is under the dash. Here's ours. It's hanging. It's sitting about here under the dash. So you're going to have to take some time, remove the screws, lift the dash up, and pull it out. There's one big connector, one small connector. We realize it takes some time, but this, if you do it this way, we test it in the car, and once you get it back, you know you only have to install it one time. Um, some competitors quote unquote bench, bench test it and you really don't know if it works or not because they don't test it in the car. Once you get it back from us, you know it works, you reinstall, you put the dash down and that's it.